I am uh, Shubroto Sinha. I am the director of the National Brain Research Center in Manesar uh, in North India, just outside Delhi. Uh, this is a uh, research institute primarily uh, working on neuroscience. It, uh, it is also a teaching institution in the sense it is a deemed university and we award degrees of masters and PhD in neuroscience. It is funded by the government of India through the department of biotechnology. There are two aspects of neuroscience research in India. One is research which is directly related to the health problems of the country. The other aspect is basic neuroscience which covers molecular, cellular neuroscience, neurophysiology, systems neuroscience and tries to understand the workings of the brain. Now to <laughs> come in the theme of the conference which is e-health, there are actually <coughs> many issues related to neuroscience research. This conference is related to Alzheimer's disease and dementia and dementia is really a major concern of the country in the sense that as our population gets older and older, the proportion of people with dementia is likely to increase. And we also realize that there are certain aspects of dementia which would might be different in India. For example, the prevalence and incidence of dementia have been comparatively consistently lower than in Western studies, though there are certain studies now on urban populations where it seems to be not that low, but it is, I would say it is still low. The, but uh, the other thing is that in dementia, in, uh, in addition to Alzheimer's disease, there is a major role in many studies of vascular dementia and that is another aspect. So, dementia is likely to have different connotations in terms of impact on public health, causation, management and uh, even rehabilitation in different cultures and societies over the world and which is all makes it all the more important to cover. In vascular dementia, there is essentially, a, it is related to the malfunctioning of the blood vessels as a consequence of hypertension and, and this, because of this the flow of blood is reduced and, and, of, and to this diabetes may also contribute and together this is a preventable problem, but still as uh, the demographics of developing countries change and our population ages, this is an aspect which is likely to be coming also to the fore. In addition to dementia, the other important issues relate to brain infection, the development of brain due to malnutrition, both protein calorie malnutrition as well as micronutrients, uh, consequences of birth asphyxia as well as you know the other Im important thing is injuries, road accident injuries and there is actually an epidemic of uh, injuries in India and uh, as the vehicular traffic increases and the infrastructure is not sufficient to cope with it. Uh, in addition and there uh, are uh, brain disorders related to birth asphyxia, low birth weight and so on. So, actually there is a large spectrum of brain disorders which could be covered through an e-health infrastructure both within the country and globally uh, which would make it important. In India, the ma major e-health related project actually is related to not just to e-health, but uh, India is building a national knowledge network and there is um, and actually a budget of almost 1.1 billion dollars over of course over spread over 10 years and the aim is to collect connect 1500 amongst other things uh, research institutes and educational institutions in India with a high speed low latency network. So, this is going to be the grid uh, on which uh, and the research obviously will not be just restricted to neurosciences. It could be resist, uh, rest, <coughs> you know, include atomic 
and physics, it, it could include systems biology, it could include any uh, 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 form of research or educational activity and so our institutes of technology, our medical institutes, our research institutes, our universities are uh, <coughs> functioning uh, through this network and already some pilot projects have been recommended through this network. Some one of them relates to the, it is like we have uh, so, uh, an eye brain project. So, within India there are centers working on Alzheimer's disease and we have just started uh, uh, and our <coughs> center is the actual nodal agency for this eye brain project, Prof. Uh, Sir Prasun Rai is the PI and they uh, collect data and images from uh, uh, jointly analyze and collate images f of people with dementia. So, about 5 to 7 centers are already getting linked. Uh, I will give you another example. We are also connected to the Canadian network through Montreal Neurological Institute and through that we can <coughs> access actually the European and the um, uh, North American networks. So, already there is a project linking our networks with <coughs> the grid and uh, the, um, this project has also been approved and very preliminary some work has started. India has also made a proposal to link up jointly with the outgrid. So, <coughs> uh, and this is a part of an uh, infrastructure development proposal. So, these things are on the cards in the sense, but uh, I, um, the proposal has been submitted. And because of this very uh, high speed networks and uh, collaboration worldwide, actually the aim is uh, not only uh, is to cover a wide range of subjects. I think uh, it is related to um, you know <laughs> subatomic particles on one hand, crystal structures <coughs> on the other and dementia on one side. In addition other diseases can, or th this is essentially an enabling infrastructure. So, because of which uh, the, uh, the, the, the two projects on dementia have already been in a way uh, they are off the ground. So, and one more from Indian Institute of Science is under consideration. And the, the obviously, you know science is global and because science is global, everybody contributes their own unique expertise to this our understanding of these problems and global collaboration will help us both in increasing our understanding of a problem and as well as find novel ways of problem solving to take care of <coughs> you know the uh, in particular uh, dementia. Let us say the prevalence and incidence is likely to increase, <coughs> or at least the prevalence is uh, more likely to increase and, and this would uh, create enormous economic costs and this would pro possibly provide a way of all countries coming together and giving rise to viable solutions which might be unique for different countries, but if we have the expertise of everybody, it would help us reach our goal faster. Well, I hope that there would be a, a f uh, this worldwide infrastructure to, uh, of using e-health to enable um, uh, capabilities of all countries would be put on a firmer footing and, and then we would be able to have a more concrete dimension and bring together all the individual efforts in this area.